work is going to be different and it will be. How do we benefit from that? How do we leverage that? And you're saying, think Lego blocks. What do you mean? Yeah. So uh, maybe I'll even, it, it, look, I'm a small company. We're 50 people. Um, but maybe I can share how it's impacted me. Um, I went out and bought a fractional chief marketing officer that I could not in my organization have afforded at the level of his sophistication. I bought a fractional uh, chief uh, uh, marketing officer. Um, I then decided that one of the critical elements of our business is very direct B2B marketing. So um, in the olden days, uh, an administrative person helping me administer my network that I would then market to, um, content marketing, direct marketing, et cetera, that individual would be at about an 80K to a 95K person in Los Angeles. Um, and, in, and if you were to- Not in Peoria. But in Los Angeles, right? Exactly, exactly. In Peoria, they're sixty, you know. But guess what? In the Philippines, they're twenty, and they're bright as heck, driven and ambitious, willing to work on my time zone. So they get up, they start working at ten in the evening, and go to like six or whatever. And um, perfect English, drive and ambition. And by the way, incredibly grateful for twenty because it's at least thirty percent to 40% more than they'd be make, making locally. And they get to work with a cutting edge, you know, American company. And so I have built out a six person marketing team that has cost me probably less than two FTEs. And that's a Lego block workforce. That's an example of a Lego block workforce. 